you'll notice if you take a look at the sunsets, um, the closer it gets to summer, the more red starts to develop. In the spring, it's pinks and blues and colors. All sorts of colors jump in. And then the closer it is time for the plants to start blooming flowers and going into summer development, the more red you'll see in the sunsets. The government is getting to the point that they've taken away um, the regular round light bulb like this and want us to go to all CFLs or um, fluorescent, something like that, more energy wise. But the cost of the bulbs are immense. But there's a benefit too for the plants because um, no matter what bulb you buy, it doesn't replace the sun, but it gives you enough benefit to be able to grow indoors without the sun. If you take a look over here at my plant shelf, as far as fluorescent tubes go, um, I got a shop light. They had it on sale half price for like $14, $15 last year. And um, you can get T8, T5 bulbs, you know, and I've heard people have re good results with each of them. I ended up buying, they were like $8.99 or something like that. These tubes right here were specifically designed for plants and I forgot to research them to find out the Kelvin on them because the box wasn't clear so we really don't get a lot of input on what we're buying sometimes we just see plant bulb and buy it and not sure if it's good enough or not until you do further research so um, I guess for now you know all I can say is hopefully the package that you're buying from has information on anything that's called just a plant bulb where you have to research T8 and T5 and see which one you prefer. It's all an experiment. Just like this is an experiment, I would need um, three more panels, maybe four to reach across this whole shelf. And I think this was like 30 some dollars. so. The LED option is kind of expensive. And if you can see right there, some of the LEDs right here have gone out. And I'm not sure if they're replaceable or not. But I'm just going to live with it like it is for now. And not going to invest in another one of them unless they were, say, $5 a piece. Then I'd be buy happy. And this one is good when you're first starting. It has quite a few of red and blue in it. And then whenever you're first starting seedlings, you want to get this as close as you can within, say, four inches of the plant. And what you're trying to do is prevent the plant from becoming leggy. And what leggy means, see, see this one right here, how tall it is? It had to stretch to get over to the light, where this one isn't leggy. It came up and had enough light, and it's just its normal little self. But um, what I've done is I've set everything up on uh, turn on and off switch over here, you know, like the GFI protector extension cord. That way I can just turn everything on and everything off and... Now that it's time to start separating the tomatoes, I started the tomatoes in grow bags right here. And see how green they are? They had a good amount of sun and a good amount, you know, of what they needed to not be completely leggy. But if you do get a leggy plant, um, all you do is put it into the ground um, for tomatoes and potatoes anyway. And... Um, the soil about here and then add more soil up here and um, let me see if I find one with the cotyledon leaf on it okay we'll try this one this is the giant tree tomato that was sent to me from seeds to freedom in Australia and this right here is a cotyledon leaf it's their first leaf and it has all the nutrients that it, this plant needs to survive. And um, once it gets old enough and gets more leaves, you know, like these two right here are the first true leaves. 
and it's got some new leaves right here starting on it these right here will have served their purpose and start um, turning yellow and passing away and you can go ahead and pull these leaves off on tomatoes and bury the tomato plant all the way up to here but since this is a tree I'm just leaving it all intact for right now and letting that continue to survive with this, this kind of lead and leaf. Okay, here's a good one. This is the pumpkin plant. Um, it's a giant pumpkin, Dill's Atlantic. See how this right here is dried up? It's already used all the nutrients that it had in the cotyledon leaves and in turning yellow, yet the plant continues to grow. So this isn't a disease, it's just life, you know, what happens. And this will get planted into a bigger pot soon or it'll go outside if weather finally turns into spring and stays really warm. But um, I just wanted to show you the difference in lights. This one right here is called an Outlight OTT light bulb. And all I did was put it in a reflector. This was rated really high for a garden association. I can't remember the name. But it's um, it, they don't give you all the details, but it's at least 5,000 Kelvin. And another company that was comparing to it, um, trying to you know, say they were better or worse, um, was it, this was equal, it was a good bulb, so I was really confident in it. I only paid like five dollars for it at Menards, so I thought it was a great deal. Where online, I think it's like eighteen dollars. And then I've got another outlight here, and you wanna keep the lights, even though I've got outside light coming in, if you can see, it's overcast and our sun is missing and that makes a difference in plant growth like the oka that are right here see how they're bending that way when I was having some issues um, I made the mistake of neglecting my plants a little bit not getting the lights on them in time so some of my plants are leggy and some of them aren't um, but at the moment I just pulled this shop light out and I'm gonna get them a little better and hopefully the sun will get better and then I've got all the tomato plants I did these for my daughter this one are in this row and up here these are mine and I have more over there to put into cups you start them out until they grow a little bit and then you um like I said before you put them in a bigger cup and they start growing even faster this right here is a broccoli plant. Oops, wrong one. Let me take you outside. Yeah, I've got these in the makeshift greenhouse that I made out of a baker's rack that someone was throwing away. Okay, if you take a look at these from being outdoors with the sun, how big they are. This one was started in the same container with those. And I pulled him out and put him in a cup to show you that the container size makes a difference. If I would have left him in there, he would be that big versus that big. <laughs> so um, sun and container size means a lot, or container type too. Um, uh, the grow bags that I've been using really do some work on, you know, making the plants nice and healthy too. I've used these seed starting trays before too. And they're kind of really hard to um, keep things going in unless you've got the right environment. So that's why I prefer using cups and grow bags. And my, I'll give you a sneak peek of the potato that I started in a pot here. He's growing up and out. So potatoes are growing on the road. But as far as... Reversing legginess, there's no reversing it. Once a plant gets leggy, it's stuck leggy, and all you can do is bury it deeper in the soil and hope it starts all over again at the top when you transplant it. Living in Missouri, you know, we had almost three months of rain last year, very little sun, and the life of plants like my broccoli didn't grow, it stayed immature. and didn't grow till fall but if you take a look at the asparagus I showed in one of my other videos 
it's still tiny. These are still the same ones when we're normally in the morning they come up and sometime during the day you pick them but temperature and lack of sun has kept them the same size for five days in a row now. I'm not sure if this prolonged time is going to make these woody instead of soft to eat. All I can do is take one off and test it. Um, I guess that'll be the end of the show for today. Um, what do you call it? If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And I'll try my best to answer it. And if I don't know what it is, maybe someone else can answer the question and help them out too. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a wonderful day. Happy gardening.